All right, guys, I am here with one of the hottest mixers around. He's one, the first Signature Series artist that we ever uh, put out the Signature Series with. And from the looks of the crowd that was just here, his plugins are as popular as ever, if not more. Welcome, Tony Maserati to NAMM 2014. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So uh, for um, all the people at home who weren't able to see what you just did here with your open mix demonstration, can you talk a little bit about uh, what you did, what you showed, and, and sort of give them a little feel of the action? Well, we tried to, to display uh, the, the quickest and easiest way to use the plugins. I built my plugins so that they would be easy to use for writers, producers, young engineers. Um, and really just tried to demonstrate how quickly they can be turned into a, a good sounding vocal or a good sounding guitar or bass. It's interesting you mentioned uh, the vocal. We actually, you know, we put out um, something called the Morgan Page EMP Toolbox with DJ producer Morgan Page. It's a collection of, of plugins that he chose. One of the plugins he, um, he put in that bundle is the Maserati VX1 vocal. What's interesting, he's coming from EDM, electronic music. It doesn't quite matter what genre of music it is. Because as I said, I, they were created in a way where you don't have to really manage all of the mixing parallel stuff that's going on in the background. All you have to do is choose whether you want more effect or less effect and choose your mode, whether you want it to work for you know, a vocal or a bass or a guitar or you know, electric guitar, or hard vocal, soft vocal, those kinds of things. So once you make those easy decisions, you can work through and get to something that's usable fast. And I think EDM guys are, they'll, they'd rather spend more time noodling on a particular synth layer or a drum layer than they would on a, uh, you know, on the, the, the contour of a vocal uh, EQ. Yeah, well, you know, in, in this uh, open mix demonstration that you just did, you basically took a mix and you you mixed it live here. <laughs> I mean, there was, there was nothing on there. You just took your plugins and in a matter of minutes you were going through track by track. I mean, it really showed how, how quick you can do a mix. Uh, what I wanted to bring up in particular is your um, your group or master plugin. What do you recommend with that plugin? Are you putting it like on each individual subgroup and the master or like how do you recommend using that best? The group was created because I, I had a lot of people ask me for it. Because of the way that I work, I have uh, uh, several auxes like for individual things like all the drums or the bass, the, um, the, all the synths, all the keys, that sort of thing. I'll use the, the group plugin on these groups so that I can get started at a place that, that sounds good. This is my favorite one, actually. I, I don't know why. I think I like the, the, the uh, effects on this one the most. And I like the fact that I could use the acoustic guitar plug-in on my vocal and get that effect, which is not on my vocal plug-in. All right, let's try the HMX. We just like these two effects so much that we just created a special plug-in just for these two effects. I created them in a way so you guys could sit down, get your sensitivity, pick your, your, um, your preset. Get your sensitivity knob where you like it, put a little effect on, boom. Then you've got a vocal, you can finish your song. You know, just for, for the guys out there that, you know, look up to you and, and want to know how to better themselves, any words of wisdom? How, how do you manage to stay on top consistently um, as you've done in your career? We have in our head a, re, a, a thing that we want to do. It's great to follow it, but don't be rigid. Allow yourself to find that path naturally. You know, not because Tony Maserati does it or Chris Lord Algae does it. Find the path that fits best for you, that feels best for you. Those really are words of wisdom, even for myself. You know, it gives everyone, I think, uh, something to think about. Tony, thank you so much for being with us here at NAM. It is a real honor as always.